before I give you my Easter speech, let me say thank you, Gap, Sister Bridget Williams, thank you, Gap, for the tithes, hours they put in practice. Thank God for all the young people participating in the Easter production. We give God praise for all those young people. We give God praise for Mr. Brandon Marks, Mary Reagan. We give God praise for all the young actors. We give God praise for Pastor J.C. and Peter Judas and old Snatcher Sister Mary. We, we give God praise for all of them. And I pray you got the message of the production that it wasn't just a production, but you got the message behind the production that, that God can bring you through and you will get your breakthrough if you hold on to God's unchanging hand. We're getting ready to give you our Easter speech on this morning. Breakthrough, don't be fooled, it's not too late for yours. The play is over now, you should have been shouting right there. We just made a bold declaration that your breakthrough is on the way. It's not too late for you to receive your breakthrough. I don't care how long you've been stuck. I don't care how long you've been down. It's not too late for you to receive your breakthrough. And I dare you right now to give God some anticipated praise. To let God know I'm anticipating my next breakthrough. Because it will be your next breakthrough. Because I promise you God has already brought you out of something. But let me be very... Straight up on this. To start out with. I must admit sometimes. Life seems hard. Yes, sir. Unfair. Yes, sir. Cruel. Uh. Sometimes the very people you help the most hurt you the most. Yes, sir. Sometimes it feels like you've been dealt a bad hand. Sometimes life feels like it's trying to crush you, kill you, and defeat you. But, but if we're honest... In those seasons or those times, we're blessed with the fact that God woke us up this morning. And guess what? No matter what you are experiencing, no matter what you're going through, if God woke you up this morning and the meal back you're here at the greenhouse, let me know God woke you up this morning. And when he woke you up, he woke you up with a new day, with a new hand, with a new joy, with a new opportunity for a brand new breakthrough. Don't the devil hold you down and make you think that God has abandoned you. No, God gave you the newness of this day with an opportunity to go and give yours. We're going to flip it on the devil. We're not going to be depressed. We're not going to be sad. We're not going to be angry. We're not going to be defeated. We're going to stand and declare we won't be food. It's not too late for a breakthrough. Before we stand for the reading of God's word in Mark 16, I want to ask a quick question. If God has done anything for you, if God has reversed your fortunes, it looked like a negative situation, if God turned it around, or if God has given you a personal breakthrough, if you are unashamed to give God a praise, jump on your feet right now and give God an unashamed praise. I cheer all Houston teams, but when I go to the game and my team wins, I cheer. When my team is behind, I encourage them. But when I come to church sometimes, I get confused because I know in the parking lot there's some cars. I know you came from a house. I know you got on good clothes, so I get confused sometimes on how we cheer for the Rockets and we cheer for the Texans and we cheer for the Astros and we cheer for our favorite team. But when we come into the house of the Lord, we act like God ain't done that for us. So Smartphones to Mark chapter 16. 
We will read verse 6 and 7. The book of Mark, chapter 16, we will read verse 6 and 7. I'll be reading from the Amplified Bible. I won't be before you very long, but I will give you something you can hold on to. Mark chapter 16, beginning with verse number 6. And he, he being Jesus, said to them, to the angel, he said to them, Do not be amazed. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you in Galilee. You will see him there just as he told you. Take your seats and let's have a conversation. Break through. Don't be fooled. It's not too late for yours. This text tells us that Jesus is no longer in the grave. And let me remind you that we are Christ-like, which means we are like Christ. And if Christ got up out of the grave, when we hear the declaration, he is no longer there, you got to make your mind up. I'm going to give it, move around to, I'm not going to stay stuck in a grave situation. And Jesus overcame the grave on the third day, just like he said he would. So I can trust what Jesus said. Sometimes people around me may not be so trustworthy. Sometimes people will say, one thing one day and change their mind the next day. But I can trust what Jesus says. Jesus told you and I on the third day he gonna get up out the grave and he did exactly what he said. But on Friday when he was crucified and buried in a grave it didn't look so good. All day Saturday he stayed stuck in a grave. All night Saturday stuck in a grave. It looked like it was truthful. It looked bad. It looked sad. It looked like defeat. It looked like failure, but we thank God that's not how the story ends. Because on the third day, a breakthrough came. And we are here today to declare, this is the day of your breakthrough. We are here to declare, it's not over. You may go into a Friday, or you may be going through a Saturday. But the good news is Sunday is on the way. I dare somebody to declare, Sunday is on the way. No matter what it feels like on Friday, when it looks like on Saturday, Sunday is on the way. You provide. 